Question 21. 1 over 5x plus 2 over 3x is equal to, now we're given 1 over 5x, and we must combine that with 2 over 3x, right? Now, here, the LCM are a common denominator of 5x and 3x. That's going to be 15x. Five x into fifteen x. That's going to be three, and we need to take that three to multiply the one. So three times one. That's still going to give us three plus three x into fifteen x. That's going to give us five, and five times two. That's going to give us ten, and three plus ten. That's going to be thirteen over fifteen. So our answer for twenty one is going to be D. 22, when 5 is added to a certain number and the result is multiplied by 3, the final answer is 27. What is the original number? So we know that they give us, they are asking us when 5 is added to a certain number. Let's say the certain number is n. So when 5 is added to n, and the result of that is multiplied by 3, then it should result to 27, right? So this is what this statement here is saying algebraically. Now they need us to determine the original number. So here, we're going to divide both sides by 3 because we want to get rid of this times 3 here. We divide both sides by 3. 3 is cancelled. 3. So what we left back with is 5 plus n is equal to 27 divided by 3. That's going to give us 9. Now, n is going to equal to, what we're going to do is to subtract 5 from both sides. And if we subtract 5 from both sides, n is going to equal to 4. So our answer here is going to be a. Now to question 23. What is the value of x squared plus 3y all divided by xy if x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2? Wherever you see x, you're going to put 4. And wherever you see y, you are going to put 2. So this is going to be 4 squared plus 3 times 2 all divided by 4 times 2. Now 4 square here is going to give us 16 and 3 times 2 that's going to give us 6 and 16 plus 6 that's going to give us 22 all over 4 times 2 that's going to give us 8 right now both 22 and 8 can be divided by 2 so we're going to divide the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2. So if you divide the numerator by 2, we're going to get 11 over 4. And 11 over 4 as a mixed number, that's going to give us, we can get two groups of 4 out of 11. Keep our denominator of 4. And the remainder is going to be 3. So therefore, our answer is going to be D, which is 2 and 3 quarters.
Question 24. If x is an integer that satisfies the inequality, 2x greater than 4 and 2x is less than or equal to 6, then x is... In order to get x by itself, we need to divide each number by 2. So if you divide each number by 2, 4 divided by 2 will give you 2. 2x divided by 2 will give you x. And 6 divided by 2 will give you 3. So our answer here is going to be A. Question 25. The sum of two positive numbers, P and Q, is 32. Their difference is 12. What is the smallest number? So what we know, we know that P plus Q, that is going to equal to 32. And we know that P minus Q is going to equal to 12. So as you note, we have a pair of simultaneous equation here. So we can do is to add both equations together. So P plus P, that's going to give us 2P. And Q plus negative Q, that's going to give us 0. And 32 plus 12, that is going to equal to 44. We're going to divide both sides by 2 to find what P is. So clearly here, notice that 2 is going to cancel out 2. So P is going to equal to 44 divided by 2. That's going to give us 22. All right? No, we can determine what Q is going to equal to. Because if P is equal to 22, we're going to sum P equal 22 in the second equation. So where we see P, we're going to put 22. So therefore, 22 minus Q is going to equal to 12. So therefore, Q is going to equal to 22 minus 12, which is going to give us 10. So Q is equal to 10. So now we can answer the question. What is the smallest number? The smallest number is going to be 10. So our answer for 25 is going to be A. Now 26. 3x squared times 2x cubed is going to equal to now this is the same thing as 3 times 2 times x raised to the 2 plus 3 power so 3 twos that's going to give us 6 and 2 plus 3 that's going to give us 5, so it's going to give us 6x to the 5th power. And our answer for 26 is going to be B. Question 27. Two matrix A and B are 
conformable for multiplication a times b a the number of rows in a is equal to the number of column in b and that's going to be our answer there because the number of rows in a has to equal to the number of columns in b for both matrix to be able to be multiplied all right the determinant of the identity matrix is that's going to be zero because the identity matrix is one 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 and one times one is one minus one which gives us zero because it's the leading diagonal the product of the leading diagonal minus the product of the following diagonal which is going to be zero in this case all right question 29 if the vector p and q are three two and negative four negative one four respectively then p minus q is now we know that vector p is going to be three two right that's vector p there minus two q so we know that two q we're just going to use two to multiply all the elements in q so that's going to give us the vector 2 times negative 1, that's going to give us negative 2. And 2 times positive 4, that's going to give us 8. So 2q is going to be negative 2, 8. Now, we are subtracting both vectors. So it's going to be 3 minus minus 2. That's going to give us positive 5. And 2 minus 8, that's going to give us minus 6. So our answer is going to be D. Item 30 refers to the following parallelogram. W, X, Y, Z. In the parallelogram, vector X, Y is equal to U. And vector X, W is equal to V. R is the midpoint of Y, Z. Now, number 30. Vector WR expressed in terms of U and V is now we want vector WR, which means that we must start at W here and we must end up at R. So we want this vector here. Now to get vector WR, we can go from vector we can go vector from w to z and then from z to r now note that from w to z is the same thing from x to y so this is going to be u now the, from z from z to r here note that the arrow is pointing down so that means we are going the opposite of this arrow so it's going to be negative a half of v right and we just put them together so therefore vector wr is going to equal to u minus half v which is a in this case all right thank you for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe